However, in the past two years, there have been significantly different types of personalities to join our team. Kelsey and I have learned that we have to be more intentional to understand how to react to how others react to situations. For example, in the middle of this year, we had a slight divide on the team. We weren't fighting or anything, we just didn't know how to approach one another. We are all extremely close now, and that was because we took the time to get to know one another. And so sometimes with a big change like that, we may not like it or even understand it, but we realize that you have to know that it's happening for a good reason and embrace the situation. Coach always says that no matter who you are on our team, you're a big part of our progress toward a MAC championship. As someone who's struggled and quite frankly been a part of the home team a lot, it's hard to accept that when you give anything to be trapped. The reality is when you take the time to step back and look at the big picture, it's true. Whether you're directly or indirectly affecting the team, if one of us hadn't come here, including all of you alumni that are here tonight, the team we have now wouldn't be possible and the MAC championship BG will bring home in the near future wouldn't be possible either. So as we wish Amy and Jen goodbye, we hope that they always remember the impact they had on this team and that the success this program has in the future is partially a product of their time here. And earlier today, um, Lauren and Marissa Blue were joking earlier that they um, weren't on the team anymore. But really, no one can be replaced. And a person